saying that it feels right Hey guys, welcome back. So we're going to jump right into this tutorial. This is something a little bit different that I've usually done. I wanted to go balls to the wall using this palette. So first we're using Expensive, which is that blue shade. And I'm going to tell you right now that this is going to take a lot of layering and blending and layering and blending. We want to kind of, you see me here kind of dabbing on the pigment and then I'm blending. And then I'm going to dab on some more and blending. That's why there's so many cut clips and it's just going to take a while to get the pigment on there because we want it to be intense, but we also want it to be smooth. So just keep dabbing it on and blending. I'm using a Morphe brush. I can't remember the name of it, but I will link it down below. And this is a really great one because it um, it's fluffy, but it also has a pointed tip so it can really get that color into my crease. So I'm focusing this on the outer portion of my crease to start. And then I'm going in with an Eddie Funkhauser brush, love this brush, or any big blending brush that you have, and just blend out those edges. Again, we're gonna keep layering and making sure that everything is blended and smooth. So then we're going back in with more of that expensive on this brush, and we're just gonna keep deepening the color. Then we're going to move on to the inner corner. I am going to use a Luxie brush. You can use any brush that you have. And we're going to start doing a halo effect. So the same thing on the inner corner of your eye. Just keep packing and blending that color. You can blend a little bit into the crease, but we really want to focus it on the inner and outer corner of your lid. So you see me keep packing that color on and then blending slowly through the crease until everything is pretty much seamless. We're still gonna go back through with that Eddie Funkhauser brush again, as you see me doing here, and just really buffing out any harsh edges because these colors are so bright and pigmented. So just keep layering and then we are gonna go in with Vanity. I wanted a little bit more depth, so I decided to go in with this color. This palette doesn't have many neutrals, so you kind of are forced to work with some wow colors. But I thought that Vanity was a nice touch for me to really deepen that outer uh, V and inner corner. So we're basically layering on top of what we just did. So we want to darken the outer corner and darken the inner corner basically. Just make it more intense and give it more depth. And using this color is really going to bring that blue to life. So again, just keep blending it on there. And you see me kind of smoking it out just so everything is cohesive. And then I'm going to jump in to Rich Bitch. This is that crazy like old gold color. I'm using a Morphe gunmetal brush and we're gonna apply this to the center of our lid look at this guys this is definitely pigmented it's very it's almost like a pressed pigment it's just very intense and I sprayed my brush with um, the Gerard Cosmetics setting spray you can use anything so you see me here kind of smoking out those edges or blending them out so it's not super harsh but you want to focus most of the pigment in the middle and then kind of sweep on those edges just so you don't have like a stark just like bam in the middle. It, even though it can be kind of tricky I guess, just do the best you can but it's really going to be like a halo spotlight eye. And then I am applying mascara and then I'm going in with these lashes. These are sweetheart lashes. Uh, these are silk lashes I found on Instagram and I will link the name down below and I'm just going to apply those. No liner today. Now we're going in with expensive again and I'm using a co Cosette brush and we're just going to mimic what we did on the top lash line, basically on the bottom. So you're gonna focus on the inner part of your eye and that includes your tear duct. And then we are going to do the outer portion of your eye and really connect that to that outer kind of, see how that's like kind of pointed out like a cat, cat eye shape, that's what we want. So again, same thing with vanity. We're taking vanity and I'm taking a Cosette brush and I'm really just gonna smoke that. You see how I'm connecting it and doing that outer V. We really want it to kind of elongate your eyes and be sort of pointed on the outer corners, if that makes sense. So just keep um, packing this on. And then I'm taking a smaller detail brush to really put that on the inner corners because we just want it to be like dark on the inner corners and dark on the outer corners and then just like a spotlight in the middle. So make sure everything is blended nicely and then we're gonna go back in with Rich Bitch and do the same thing in the middle. So just mimic what you did on top, put that color right in the middle, right in between those uh, inner and outer dark parts. And then I took this liner, this is a Makeup Forever liner. You could use any liner you wanted, but I wanted to kind of tie in some sort of blue. So I'm gonna apply this uh, to the waterline and then I'm gonna apply some mascara 
and I didn't include my face in this tutorial because the lighting was really off and I hated the powder that I used. I used that La Mer powder and I do not like it, so do not purchase it if you saw my snap. Uh, I just felt that I looked pretty harsh, but you guys wanted this tutorial, so I didn't want to scrap it for you. So now I'm applying my lipstick. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Naked, and then I applied a little bit of highlighter on my Cupid's bow, and that completes the look. Hope you guys enjoy. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It feels right.